Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Saturday, and Halloween is here, bitch. We are going on Halloween vibes all the way from today till the 31st. So I'm going to be dressing up every single day because that's what we do on Halloween. So you may be asking, why do you have your eyes shut? Well, the thing is like, these are not my glasses, okay? These are my husband glasses. I just did a video with them. And now like I, I, I lost it up because he's basically blind. But now I'm here. I'm giving, you know, like Daddy Potter vibes, you know, I'm being a Gryffindor queen today. And I'm here to give you all of the tea. So get ready because we need to talk about the real housewife of Beverly Hills. But before we get into it, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome to my Beverly Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture streets and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell and let's talk about this oh, mess girl it is here it is here the trailer of the real housewife of Beverly Hills is here and it looked so damn good I'm finally finally able to understand all the things that I have been told all of these months you know Whew, I had many conversations with different people related to this show, you know, and they really try to keep everything as secret as possible, you know, and even the things that I knew, I was like, you know, I'm not going to say anything because I'm going to respect the process of what they are trying to do. But I was a little bit nervous, to be honest, because I was like, what is going to happen? How are we going to move forward? What is going on? You know, I have to tell you this trailer give me chills you know this trailer i don't know who they fire i don't know who they hire but like it kind of like give me back that oh this is beverly hills you know this is what we want well 98 percent of it because there is always someone that is basically broke but you know what I, you know what i mean like this is what we want like the glam the luxury the class you know i was like living for it even the cast picture girl mm -mm, i was not prepared i was not prepared for this because it look it looks so good honestly like the vision you can see how like everything is just working out the um, the dresses like no i can i can already imagine the tag lines. I think they're going to be so good. Every single one of these ladies looked amazing. Some more than the others. I mean, <sighs> look, I'm going to say something starting now. When it comes to Erica Jane, you know that for me is very hard to like just forgive and forget, you know, like, oh, the, you know, the big teams and all of that. I don't think that's ever going to happen, you know, but I decided to uh, stop wasting my energy coming after erica you know what i mean karma will do its thing you know she will have to answer to someone down there at some point and it is what it is you know what i mean i am just i have i don't have the energy to keep talking about erica jane so i'm just gonna talk about erica jane when it comes to like entertainment you know i want to see um, when i do my reviews when she's like on the show like that's it you know but the whole other legal whatever shit like i'm so over it you know i think that we're never gonna get anything from that and it is it is what it is you know what i mean and i don't i don't get her on the show if you want me to be very honest right now if i was the president of nbc ceo of bravo and andy coin i will take erica jane out of the show and replace her with heather dubrow that that right there will be the perfect cast perfect perfection you know what i mean 
and of course bring back crystal Minka. <laughs> but anyways um that's that's what i'm thinking and you know that crystal and heather are like this you know so like it will make so much sense like it will be such a good season but anyways let's move on into next season first uh yeah i'm very excited i think the ladies were looking amazing i uh we're gonna be seeing an activated dorit that we have not seen since like six and nine uh i told you i mean i girl remember when i told you that she was offered the crappy contract that she was offered a friend of the show and that they, they told her unless you bring it you will not be getting a diamond she said fuck it all i'm gonna bring every single piece of you know messiness to this season and i think that we're gonna be getting an amazing amazing uh Dorit Kemsley. But with that being said, girl, don't think that I'm going to give you all my support because you are not going to be messing with Carl Richards, okay? Mm -mm -mm. I'm so sorry, but Carl Richards is the head of Beverly Hills. And I think that, you know, it is what it is. I think Carl has been going through so much, you know, that she and I, we have a love-hate relationship. But I'm, I, 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 I love what she's doing. I love that she's keeping moving forward. And I love that. I know that she's going to be keeping it real next season. You know what I mean? So I see the, Dor the activated Dorit is not a real Dorit. It's an activated Dorit by necessity. So it is actually translating into a thirsty Dorit who needs a diamond. You know what I mean? But yes, I mean, we still have a whole show to go. So I don't know um garcelle looks amazing satan oh my god and i know that satan is gonna have things with kyle as well but it hits different because i think that look while dorit is coming from a place of thirstiness on her drama with kyle satan i think her drama with kyle is more of like a friendship level you know so it is more real so i can get behind that and i can like actually be unbiased and like really like analyze what is going to happen with that friendship on that side you know and Sutton was looking so beautiful on her on her um on her cast picture you know another person that is giving me class movement you know she's giving she's giving it all but i'm so sorry but the cast picture of kathy hilton that shit needs to be hang out in the loop like that like it literally looks like a queen painting beautiful beautiful amazing and the parts that we saw with uh, kathy hilton fun entertaining shady girl i'm here for it i mean even jennifer tilly i think she's going to be so messy and the new you know the new girl bosoma even though i have not heard good things about her I think she's going to be uh, a nice addition. Let's wait and see because the last two additions, girl, between Diana Jenkins and 8.5, I know that I know that we don't have a lot of like, um, how you say that? Uh, we don't have a lot of faith, okay? But I like her on the trailer, but I have her stuff. So I'm right here in the middle. I don't know. You know, I love Beret Hills. The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills is my favorite franchise. I am so excited. It is going to be uh, around the corner. I'm here for it. So if you watch the trailer, let me know what you think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.